and I can tell you with no uncertainty that miracle cures are no laughing matter. I bid you <laughs> good day, sir. Uh, <laughs> oh, Mr. Marston, good to see you. How have you been keeping? I'm well, Mr. Uh, Mr. West Dickens. Nigel West Dickens of East Cheap, London, New Waverly, New York, and Armadillo, New Austin. At your service. At my service. Mm, at everyone's service. At the service of science, of knowledge, of life. Uh, <laughs> how are your wounds? Hmm? Oh, oh, uh, much, much better. But then they would be. Mm -hmm. Would be. I know a cure for all ailments, Mr. Marston. Ah, I'm sure you do. And I'm sure for just $2 an ounce, I could live forever. Oh, but for you, sir, I'd do a bulk discount rate of $1.95 an ounce. <laughs> as long as you buy 100 ounces or more, that's a lot of immortality. Uh, give it up, old man. That's Mr. West Dickens to you, boy. Give it up, old man. Um... Uh, Listen, Marston, I'm broke, but this stuff is good. It works. I need a healthy young man like you. <laughs> Come along. Let's ride over to my newest customer at Ridgewood, and I'll explain while we go. Okay. <laughs> Head for Ridgewood Farm, John, and hurry. There are people there in dire need of my tonic. I heard about you, Mr. West Dickens. And I about you, John Marston. Hoodwinking the weak, gullible out of their hard-earned money. My dear boy, it is you who is gullible, if I may be so bold. Stay on the road! We're going to destroy the merchandise! We're heeding such ill-informed scuttlebutt. You're as full of wind as a horse with a collar. I have been blessed with the gift of language, and for that I will not apologize. But the West Dickens elixirs speak for themselves. My thousands of happy customers attest to that. Those men trying to kill you didn't look so happy. Skepticism is the bastard child of progress, John. Knowledge makes a fool into a doubting Thomas. If my tonic is such a sham, how do you explain the fine battle in which you find me? Last time you saw me, I was knocking at death's door. You should thank the doctor for that. I reckon you were acting it up worse than it was. Act I can, John. A more convincing Othello there has never been. And so shall you. A fair Iago or Cassio. I don't like the sound of this. Showmanship, John. The flourish. The bow. We are operating in a competitive marketplace. Our product must stand out. And how does this involve me? We're going to use your God-given talents to our advantage. I'm really starting to regret this. I'll drop you off at the outskirts of Ridgewood. That way, it won't look like we came together. Once I'm set up, saunter nonchalantly into the cloud that is sure to be formed. Eventually, I will call you up to try my tonic. After extolling the virtues, I will have you perform a few feats of wonder to amaze and impress the king. Such as? Oh, nothing out of the ordinary for a man in your line of work, I assure you. So it is all a shame. No, no, just a little innocent ballyhoo. Grease the wheels of enterprise, that's all. Do you think that buxom young girl you see on the Voyage camera posters knows the first thing about photography? You hop out here, John. Follow me in on foot. See you shortly, and remember, showmanship.
Sugar back there. I didn't know that. <coughs> Friends, hardworking souls of uh, Jola Springs, <laughs> gather round, gather round. Do you suffer from rheumatism, lumbago, acute chronic sciatic, uh, uh, neurologic or inflammatory pain? Well, I represent the only company that makes the genuine article that cures headaches, neuralgia, uh, earache, toothaches, backache, swelling, sprains, sore chests, swelling of the throats, contracted cords and muscles, anxieties and ravaged nerves, stiff joints, wrenches, dislocations, cuts and bruises, and it adds vitality and vigor to the healthy man. <laughs> but can you prove it, old man? Oh, I'm sure there's some customer here who could prove the qualities of it by taking a drink right now. You, sir, come up here. Step right up. That's the spirit. Ladies and gentlemen, pay close attention. This poor, wretched volunteer, entirely unknown to me, will demonstrate the effects of Dr. West Dickens' own patent tonic. Be you a cowpoke or athlete, this miraculous elixir developed with the wisdom of the East keeps the muscles supple and relaxes the cords. It loosens the joints and gives a feeling of youth and vigor to the whole system. Not possible, I hear you say. Well, doubt no longer. Faith can move mountains, but I ask not for faith. I am a man of science, and today, science will be vindicated. Your eyesight is greatly improved, is that not so, friend? If you say so. That's right, it is. You heard him. What a good sport you are, sir. Now, gaze over yonder at that porch. If you squint, you may just be able to make out the skull that's hanging there. Go ahead, friend. Shoot that skull and demonstrate the miraculous eyesight you now possess. has been challenged to shoot a gentleman's hat out of the sky above our heads. You can fool these people, but you ain't fooling me. Right. Let's just see how sharp you is with a moving target. Right, friend. Here comes the throw. Don't forget to draw your weapon, sir. adjusting to the powerful tonic. <laughs> well, you want to try that again, sharpshooter? Come on, then. Get ready to shoot that hat. You ready to get embarrassed? Have you ever seen such an eye? Behold the power of the elixir. Look out of the sky. Hey, hey, what? You think you can put a hole in a man's hat? Walk away, do you? Hey, don't work like that around here, mister. Come on, are you a man or not? A challenge of battle has been offered to our volunteer. Look at him. The tonic is coursing through his veins. Look at that. Ew, human <laughs> strain. Say goodnight, friend. Come on, do me something. <laughs> and dissenters, irrefutable proof. Do not let this opportunity pass you by. Look, he's over there. Go get this him. Now. Watch out, he's got a gun. Who the hell do you think you are? You ain't leaving here alive. Of deadly accuracy 
courtesy that can only be afforded by the West Dickens Elixir. Come, I have plenty for all. No harm in trying one bottle, I suppose. Well, I think that went kind of well, don't you? Well, I'm just glad that my normal job involves either chasing after cattle or murderers. Not the likes of you, mister. Don't be like that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'd like to say my goodbyes, head on back to the real world. Uh, 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 wait, sir. I, I've been thinking about your predicament, and uh, I think I may have an idea. I've been thinking I could be your cunning Odysseus. Beware of the Greeks burying gifts, sir. Mm -hmm. Williamson had better beware. We will make them into Trojans. I don't rightly get you. I want you to go and see my old friend, Seth. Uh, you can come across as a little curious, but I'm sure you two will get on. He's a most often found at Coots Chapel. He's very devout. Why see him? Because between him and me, we can get those gates to open for you, and you can walk right in, just like in Homer's great Trojan yarn! <laughs> Miss? Uh, what are you doing out here? Um, I'm thinking. Have I seen you before? Oh, uh, yes, I think so. On the train from Blackwater, perhaps. Yeah. Yeah, you were talking with the preacher. Yes, sir, I was. I don't know if it's so safe out here, Miss. Oh, Jenny. You can call me Jenny. Uh, uh, all right. Uh, I'm safe because I, I have faith. So uh, faith can move mountains. That's the whole point. You're trying to move a mountain? Oh, no. Uh, I can't do anything. But with faith, I can achieve great things. I know that. I know it. You want me to take you back into town, ma'am? You seem kind of unwell. Oh, I, I get such clarity out here. I see things purely. The world is so beautiful. And full of things that'll kill you, <laughs> including illness. Nothing's gonna kill me, sir. Well, take care, then. Miss Jenny. <coughs> Miss Jenny. Don't look like the Almighty's much inclined to help you out here. I was kind of worried about you, so I brought you some medicine. Oh, oh, heavens. Oh, praise you, Lord. I knew you'd save me. <coughs> Excuse me? You see, it was only through his will that you were ordered to save me. Tell me, <coughs> were there angels in your vision? Jenny, uh, can I take you back into town? Praise you, Savior. I knew you'd save me. 
Will you come with me? Oh, I'm fine here, mister. I'm in heaven. Heaven. Howdy, friend. I didn't know anyone lived out here. Whoa! Now you can't rob the place now, can you? Now get! Friendly old bastard, ain't you? I don't need me no friends, friend. We all need friends, old timer. We die alone, but we live among men. You know, I was interested in moving out this way with my family. Would you be willing to sell me a parcel of land? We wouldn't even have to speak or nothing. Land's too dry for farming. Bandits run all the cattle off. Why you want this land? I guess I just like the scenery. Well, I don't know. Maybe for $200 I could give you the deed of this land, find myself a place up in Blackwater. Although I never could stand the people down there. No, sir. Price the price. Make up your mind. I ain't got all day. Why don't you come back when you got the money? <laughs> 